I've got a, uh, a case here which was for uh, designed by a student uh, for his uh, engineering design and management course and the case the purpose of this case is to house a printed circuit board uh, for control uh, with control circuitry and it has the board itself has a number of uh, female pins which go through these holes here which slot through those holes there and on the underside there's another printed circuit board with pins in those same positions and they basically socket in together and that board goes on to control uh, is well not controlled but attached to solenoids and float switches uh, because it's a um, a water tank project basically filling up water in a water tank and the water drains out once it's full now anyway what I want to talk about was just the case design so this is the base of the case and this is the lid of the case now as it was submitted uh, to me uh, the case itself uh, did not have these mounting points here and also I discovered that there was some scaling issues as well which I fixed Now I've added these mounting points um, and I did this purely as an opportunity for me to practice something that I've been working on and um, and develop some more skills there but the idea is that see what should have happened was there should have been some holes and mounting points here so that the board itself could have been screwed in uh, probably from this side and then some screws on uh, nuts on this side or screw into some material like but uh, the way this is it's sort of like a frictional fit you can see that they slide in and um, just for the purposes of the experiment a frictional fit is tight enough it doesn't it doesn't fall off um, you can get off you just squeeze it and pull it and these mounts actually clamp down on the board inside now unfortunately I don't have the board with me but I'd like to show you something which I find is quite interesting oh by the way this material thickness is only one millimeter thick so although it bends once it's been put together as a case uh, it's quite stiff and certainly strong enough again for the purposes of the um, the project that the students are doing I bring up SketchUp now here this is the um, completed uh, design and now the students used uh, Autodesk Invent to do this original box design and they gave me the STL file now I was able to import the STL file into SketchUp now what I did was something which I thought was rather clever and I, I'm, I'm a modest person but I was quite happy with this anyway uh, was this this image here was screen captured um, of a program called circuit cam now circuit cam is the program which we use to we import Gerber files generated by um, the students use Eagle soft a software to design this the circuit board and then they generate uh, Gerber files and we import those and process them before exporting to Boardmaster to be milled out on the LPKF S62 milling machine but what I've done here is I've, imp I've scanned the uh, top layer and the bottom layer oh, sorry this is the bottom layer here and the top layer is just under here I've scanned it and I've uh, scaled it correctly according to the length and width of the of the actual design and then I've and then I've spaced it according to the thickness of the actual printed circuit board so that spacing there is about 1.6 millimeters and then I have um, grouped that together as one group now uh, I've used that as a, a template to scale correctly scale the box design um, and then add these column supports okay so <clears throat> as I was saying before I've got these two layers and I've grouped them together and that allowed me to check the scaling of this board after I'd imported the top and bottom layers um, and I'll just do something interesting just to show you how cool this is 
I'll uh, grab this item here and now the key to rotating things is you got to get it right on the edge like this click on the corner endpoint whoop wrong one select this item rotation there we go and now we want to move so grab that corner there takes a while to um, get competent at using this software so now if I look at the top view you can actually still I'm still learning how to rotate these things properly but anyway so you can actually see now that all those uh, pads for the female sockets align with those holes perfectly so it's a really great way of just double checking your design before you print it out now I've tried this before uh, but the results weren't so good because I was basing it off a photograph of the board and you have problems with perspective perspective starts causing um, distortion errors in the image and things are out of spec because of the perspective whereas this time because I've screen captured directly off the PCB layout on the screen there's no perspective issues there are no perspective issues now interestingly enough these are three holes for the LEDs and you can see the LED holes pads are down below but they actually don't align with the top surface hole so if I align it straight up you can't actually see those pads directly below see they're over there so that one is over there whereas it should be directly below <clears throat> um, now I'll just go into the inside that box just like go inside and you can see on the inside and this is quite interesting too because you can see how those column supports are pinning around that board you just got to uh, keep turning things around so you can see how that's our space those column supports to fit nicely over that board there so they're basically crimping down on the corners and also important to note is that you can see because I can see where the tracks are going and basically figure out where the components are going to be lying I know that those column supports are not going to interfere uh, with any components on the board itself I can check the top and bottom view the same way so <clears throat> excuse me I think that's quite cool there's the other one there turn it around the other corner turn it around and then there's the corner there so it's um it's very very nice to be able to do this <clears throat> and there's the completed one just like I have shown in the image here there's the completed object thank you very much